when your thyroid is weak or muffled, then the rest of the music falls apart. In your body, that means ovulation gets delayed or doesn't happen at all in the luteal phase that should sustain early pregnancy becomes too short. Approximately 95% of my clients or members in my fertility circle tell me my thyroid is normal, my doctor tested it. <laughs> but usually they test TSH if you're lucky, free T4 and well, that's pretty much it. And free T3 doesn't get tested, total T3 antibodies don't get tested. You cannot tell if your thyroid is functioning by just testing TSH. It's impossible and it drives me nuts. If you are tired, you have hair shedding, dry skin, stubborn weight, especially around the midsection that just doesn't go away, then your thyroid is yelling at you. I need support. I want support. Now, what your thyroid needs is iodine, selenium, zinc, B vitamins. It also means there that removing background noise of chronic stress and inflammation so thyroid can do its job. It's going to be important there too. A client of mine came to me with actual confirmed hypothyroidism, but she still didn't ovulate, although she was on medic medication and she also was dry as hell. So we gave her all the nutrients she needed and also took certain things away that caused inflammation in her body. And after four months, she ovulated and she was wet. <laughs> yes, and now we're working on getting her pregnant. That is the power of listening to your signal. The first step to create a new life. That life may one day be the tiny fingers you count and the heartbeat you cradle against your chest. Your miracle baby is finally here.